In this video, we will see how Oracle Fusion Cloud evolved uh, from last few years to now. And then what was the model before Fusion Cloud? And uh, we'll see those inf these informations. Uh, before getting into the topic, we need to understand uh, ER, uh, these terms, ERP, CRM, and HCM, SCM. ERP refers uh, Enterprise Resource Planning and CRM, uh, Customer Relationship Management. Uh, so ERP is nothing but uh, it provides all the, uh, 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 all the solutions to the backend, uh, financial transactions, everything. And CRM, uh, it provides uh, 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 solutions uh, to increase the uh, sales growth and uh, order conversion. HCM, it provides uh, uh, HR, uh, HRMS, like uh, all the employee related uh, onboarding, uh, payroll, uh, right? So all that uh, employee related uh, uh, employee related services will be handled in hcm hcm uh, so from um, from pro, from uh, the so hcm provides uh, from raw materials to the final uh, product uh, preparation right so the entire process will be handled in um, um, uh, can be handled in hcm so all these are needed for a company uh, who is uh, producing something or who is handling uh, uh, who is right uh, for every company this is a must so for this uh, oracle uh, provides uh, uh, two types of uh, solution on premise and on cloud what is on premise means uh, on premise means uh, uh, so it gives uh, uh, it gives the database or it gives uh, the infrastructure uh, soft, uh, right everything oracle will give and in, in it will install the database or everything uh, so it it should be maintained by the customer in on premise So, uh, and it is a, not a cloud application. That means we can't access that application uh, with, uh, with just browser. It, we need to install those applications and we need to uh, log into the application and we need to connect with that server. Then only it will be available. So those, th those kind of uh, uh, service is called on-premise. And then second one is on-cloud. So on-cloud will support just with the URL username password. So earlier Oracle, uh, Oracle is uh, providing on on, on premise uh, and cloud, but now Oracle is completely preferring uh, on cloud. So that is why our uh, Oracle Fusion Cloud application came into picture. So uh, so before Oracle Fusion Cloud. Uh, so Oracle has built uh, its own applications like uh, eBusiness Suit, and uh, it acquired some applications like JD Edwards, Ebel, PeopleSoft, and uh, in ERP. So th these are all mostly uh, on-premise applications. Uh, ERP, uh, some of these applications, right? They are uh, specialized and uh, popular uh, uh, products in these areas. Uh, for example, ERP. In ERP, business suit and JD Edwards are famous. Uh, then um, in ERP, mostly EB, EB, EBS is famous, uh, uh, popular, and then uh, JD Edwards also supports uh, ERP and everything. And then it uh, CRM, uh, Sibyl is the popular uh, uh, one at that time. And uh, similarly for HCM, PeopleSoft uh, is, uh, is popular. So what Oracle, uh, so these are all uh, like individual uh, applications. Uh, so Oracle came with the idea that uh, 
uh, all should be uh, integrated. Uh, all these uh, features should be available in one place. So then they uh, they called it as a, a fusion cloud, uh, and it's a cloud based uh, product, right? So and it is integrated, uh, integrated suit. So they named it as a fusion. So they combined, uh, uh, they combined or integrated everything with uh, <clears throat> all the processes. So they took uh, most of the features uh, from these four products and they uh, they took as a baseline and then they developed own uh, product called Oracle Fusion Cloud. With all these features uh, taken uh, into the, um, uh, referring this, uh, this product areas. Uh, I mean, uh, all the HCM uh, concepts, uh, right, from PeopleSoft and CRM, some, some <clears throat> the uh, CRM from Cbell, ERP from ER, uh, eBusiness Suite. So these kind of mostly uh, similar features or useful features they took from these products and they built uh, uh, on cloud. It is launched on September uh, 2010 and uh, it is released uh, to the all customers at uh, Open World uh, at 2000 in, in 2011. So uh, Oracle Fusion Cloud is a SaaS based application like um, <clears throat> so it's uh, the license will be uh, per user per month. So uh, so like this uh, Oracle Fusion will get uh, uh, is licensed like this they will give uh, like this they will offer and uh, when it comes to cost uh, it's comparatively low uh, than uh, other uh, competitors and with the same features or sometimes it's uh, even with better features. Uh, so, so Oracle Fusion Cloud offers other clouds also, right? Like uh, HCM, ERP, and uh, ERP SCM. Uh, but I'm I'm focusing this slide with uh, CRM. <clears throat> uh, CRM uh, has uh, uh, all these features. So Sales Cloud, B two B Sales Cloud, where it provides uh, 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 Salesforce automation features. And uh, <clears throat> B2B service, it provides a case management and uh, service request management capabilities. Uh, and it also uh, it also supports all the uh, knowledge authoring, um, right? And uh, all these subscription cloud. Uh, so nowadays we can see uh, a lot of uh, uh, things are uh, subscription based, uh, like every month, uh, every three months plans, every annual annual plan, right? It's a kind of a SaaS uh, subscription model. Uh, so for implementing that, uh, it provides subscription cloud as an option. And then uh, if some um, field service reps are doing their work in at field level, like uh, in, installing some device at uh, home or office. So can be done um, using field service and this can be integrated to uh, B2B service. CDM for all the uh, master data uh, management, uh, person, organization, address, so if you want to manage this and if you want to remove duplicates, manage duplicates, all that we can do using CDM. And then uh, uh, marketing cloud, it was introduced uh, recently uh, uh, into Oracle Fusion Cloud platform. Uh, so this provides a complete uh, uh, integration from marketing cloud to uh, <clears throat> sales, sales process. Uh, so that is the uh, like uh, vision uh, from Oracle. Uh, so you, a user can get a view or uh, customers can get a view from marketing to sales. Uh, this process should be complete uh, with a complete uh, view integrated process. <clears throat> Uh, 
So in this screen, I, I, I'm going to show uh, some of the screens uh, that were used, uh, uh, like how it looks like, uh, right, in, in earlier, um, uh, um, like when when it is released, how the UI look, li look like, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. We can see the UI, how it looks like on the home page, right? I'll import and import the screen pickups, which has So the first thing is... uh, now here we can we can see uh, the setup and maintenance how it was uh, how we were creating sandboxes right uh, so this is how we will yeah, we will be going uh, to set up and maintenance um, this option is still there but um, uh, sandbox option is uh, here uh, previously. And this is the setup and maintenance area. So uh, we will be searching the tasks here and then uh, we, we will get the tasks here. So this is going uh, into the tasks. Okay. And this is schedule process uh, screen. And this is account screen. So yeah, this is how the uh, our uh, Fusion Cloud application was there uh, pre from previous years. And now if we see uh, the UI looks like this. So all the navigation options and right everything is uh, will look like this. So UI wise, it's uh, evolved. So. So these are the options in setup for going to setup and maintenance and then and sandbox op option is moved to uh, configurations tab. So this and all a uh, few <clears throat> and, and now uh, uh, the, and the complete uh, Fusion Cloud application is in Redwood uh, uh, UI. So that's why we can see some bar here with Redwood uh, user experience UI. So that is all about uh, um, Oracle Fusion application uh, introduction.